Well, while many of us are working on our second acts in life, Tony Gonzalez is rocking his third and then some. He's gone from 17 years in the NFL to becoming a sports analyst and now acting. Take a look. You know, we never wanted another child because you were enough. That's right. Coco, uh, I hope you know how much... Dad, don't. You don't have to keep giving me the same yearly speech about what happened with mom. I know you're happy with Jillian. I'm not nine anymore. I get it. Well, see, you always think you know what I'm going to say. I wouldn't even go in there. Well, all I'm going to say is come through, dramatic actor. Come through range from the new series, Long Slow Exhale. Please welcome Football Hall of Famer, entrepreneur, and actor, Mr. Tony Gonzalez. Do you hear all the screaming? You're used to that, though. When you, I appreciate it. You're Thank welcome. You. <laughs> you're welcome. Did you see? I was like, seriously, the range, dramatic actor. But we have to clarify that this is not your first acting gig because you were already in Triple X: The Return of Xander Cage. You also had roles on NCIS and a couple others. So this is just you getting back into something that you've loved for a bit. Yeah, I've loved it. Yeah, I've, I've actually been acting since I was in. I played Christopher Columbus's brother <laughs> back in fourth grade. Um, and then, you know, I did it in sixth grade and all through uh, junior high. And then I did it again in college when I went to Berkeley. So it's something I've always had interest in. Uh, and fortunately, I got an opportunity to play this great role with a great cast, Josh Lucas, uh, Pimka Jansen, Rose Collins. Uh, it was just a, a kind of a dream come true when they offered me. Well, I had to audition for the part. Uh, but when I got it, I was like, yes, because it was a chance to really do some good work. Well, but the thing is, it's not that unusual for, like, former football players. We've seen a lot of them become successful in the acting world. And you also play a professional, like, a professional football player in this one, which is, shouldn't be a stretch for you. However, acting requires, like I said, a certain range, which you do show in this because it's pretty dramatic and you have to play a pretty, like, serious role. And I have to say, impressive. So what has been the hardest part? Aside, because you've been doing this since the fourth grade. We know this, so you have your chops. All, all there. But what has been the hardest part about acting? Because I can't do it. <laughs> what is the hardest part? Wow, that's, that's a big question. Uh, auditioning really? is, is extremely hard. Because <laughs> you got to go into this room with a bunch of people and, and, and you, you hear constantly, no, no, no. I've auditioned over 50 times and, and heard no every single time uh, and was finally able to, to nail this part. Uh, but really, you know, it reminds me a lot of football. It reminds me of, like, you get your plays during the week. You study all week. You work with your team. You got your coaches, which are the directors, the producers. Uh, you got the guys on the team, try, which is the other fellow actors, trying to nail a scene. And you practice throughout the whole week in football. And then come game time or come when they yell action, it's the same thing. That adrenaline comes. Uh, it's, it's hard. It's extremely hard work. But at the same time, it's so fulfilling. I mean, it, I, I love it. I love doing it. it. Like I said, it takes me back to when I was out on that football field playing in front of 80,000 people, except now it's on a set with, uh, with, co with other actors. So it's a lot of fun. All right, speaking of other actors, your co-star, Rose, who you mentioned earlier, was here last week to talk to our anchors, Dan and Hazel, about long, slow exhale. And how would you describe it, though? But here's what I've been saying. Since I heard, I saw the title, when it, it said they were going to premiere, I kept going like this. Because <laughs> that's me miming what a long, slow exhale is. So tell us about yeah. it while I act it out. Well, well I think um, the, the reason it's called long, slow exhale because there's so many twists and turns. Uh, it's about a collegiate uh, female basketball team on the heels of winning the national championship. And then the next year, uh, the school gets rocked with scandal, uh, sex scandal. And then there's a murder. Uh, and then, uh, you know, the head coach, Rose uh, Collins, uh, she has to go out there and, and figure out who done it, why they done it, what's going on. And then it's just filled with twists and turns. And then my character uh, is kind of a story within the story, a relationship mm -hmm. between a father and his daughter, wanting the best for her. But I also have a little secret that's going on with me uh, that gets revealed in the show that's a pretty big reveal uh, and the reason kind of why I'm so hard on her. So it's just a, a great dramatic series. Uh, like I said, a lot of twists and turns, a roller coaster, I've heard it been described that. Uh, just uh, really entertaining. My, my mom loves it. My mom said it's her new favorite show, so I'm, I'm happy. Oh, well, we're, we're signing out along with mom because it is every, it should be everyone's new favorite show. You've had quite the successful football career. You've gone on to becoming a sports analyst, like we mentioned. And I even heard something about you dabbling in basketball a bit, and you're also 
have health guru added to your <laughs> resume because you're a chief wellness ambassador? Yeah, chief wellness ambassador for uh, a company called Caldera, which is face cream uh, and face serums for guys, really good stuff. But yeah, I've always been healthy. I think that's the reason I was able to play 17 years and, and uh, go out there and take care of your body, your mind, body, soul. That's kind of what I'm into. Uh, going out there trying to, hey, you never know when it's your number. So I always say, go out there and do your best uh, and go for it every single day. Yeah, we know you've always always been healthy because I was, I was saying, you know how babies come out like with rolls and all chubby and stuff? I feel like you came out with a six pack. Like you were like a buff baby. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I've never seen your baby picture, but I'm just saying, if I had to picture you as a baby, you were like buff and stuff as a baby going in the hospital, but with guns. <laughs> Is that correct? <laughs> Ask your mom. She'll tell us. Well, I, I have pictures of me when I was younger. They called me uh, Buddha Baby because I was, I was actually pretty fat. <laughs> it was all muscle. I, I, I don't believe it was all muscle. So, so hopefully yeah. next time you come back, you can teach us, like, some of your health ambassador ways and teach, give us, like, tips on how to live a better life because we want to be like you when we, when we grow up, Tony. Such a pleasure to meet you. Thanks, thanks for having me on, OJ. All uh, right, anytime. OG. OG. Oh, it's, it's, spelled, it's spelled OJ, and they call me OJ in Nigeria, too, so it's fine. It's spelled that way, so it, it, you're, you're not wrong. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. All Appreciate right, TG, tell the other OG I said hey. I will. I All will. right, thank you. All right, everyone, his right. series Long Slow Exhale is currently playing on Spectrum and also on demand.